Hello and welcome. So today we are going to look at the topic of geometry. In fact, I'm going to try and make a series of videos that just gets us started with uh, some basic geometry principles. And I thought it might be useful to sort of uh, share with you where, where we apply this type of mathematics. So I'm sure you're all familiar with the type of mathematics that's you know, times tables and addition, subtraction, some algebra, some fractions, and that's that makes a lot of sense. You, you can start to see where you would use those types of mathematics. But here on the screen, we're dealing with geometry, so it's a bit like shapes and lines and angles and so, so forth. What's, why would you use that? Well, uh, one uh, purpose of geom uh, some geometry is that we often uh, start off with some things that we do know, and then we apply some rules that we have discovered over time. So famous mathematicians who are smarter than I am, have discovered that you know the angle A and the angle B are actually identical to one another, provided that this and this, those two lines that bound them, are parallel. Um, so there are ways of um, applying some basic rules to find out some unknowns, because sometimes you just can't measure them in real life. Um, other times uh, we can use some uh, geometry rules to find other things. So for example, down in this corner here, this is actually a maths trick that I've used uh, in real life, but where I had to find the center of a circle for woodworking purposes. I needed to need drill a hole right in the middle of a circle. And uh, I basically applied some geometry rules here to find the exact center. And then there's a bit of a, a clue as to how it was solved. Uh, but in a broader sense, geometry rules have been used a lot for uh, mapping things abstractly. Now, maths, we like to abstract things because um, I suppose the idea is that if you remove some of the unnecessary details, you can focus on a problem in a new way, free from distractions. And that can lead you to discovering uh, more inventive uh, uh, solutions. So one thing that, uh, that geometry uh, can be useful for is to map out uh, something that forms a network. Now, let's start with uh, this little diagram here in the middle. It looks a bit like a tree. I'd like you to imagine that, let's represent that all of these red dots, these points, let's pretend they are locations on a map, on a, on a road network. And each of these uh, edges represents the roads that connect uh, two locations together. Now, you could say that the length of that edge represents the length of that road. Sure, in real life, the road has a bit of, you know, curves and, and, and all sorts of, um, you know, unnecessary detail. But if you just measured how long it is and just give it that dimension on our diagram here, and we can see how all these other roads connect to other points on, uh, on the map, you can see how a computer might be able to calculate how long would it take you to travel from one point to another point on the map? It could even give you an estimation of how long it might take you to do so. And it makes those estimations based on how, how long you've given the, um, this edge here in the middle. Uh, you can also put in things like how fast you're going uh, on the road at that time. So that's one way of mapping out a road network. And you've I'm pretty sure that things like Google Maps and Apple Maps use uh, a type of mathematics like this on the back end to do those kinds of calculations. Uh, other things that um, these uh, geometry-based uh, problems can be used for is, uh, let's say, a computer network where each of these um, dots represents a device or a server or a comp computer of some kind, and they're all linked together. Um, so you might have a very simple network in your house where you might have like your Wi-Fi hub, and this is your phone, um, and you have uh, your computer, and your phone and your computer connected together by Bluetooth. So there's a line connecting those two together. Um, but not only that, you've got your iPad. So that iPad's also connected to the Wi-Fi router. It's also connected to your phone by a Bluetooth, also connected to your computer by Bluetooth. And you can start to sort of see how, you know, for other people in your family, that this is gonna get more of a complicated web. And you can see how connected they are. And that can have usefulness as well particularly if you are perhaps in um, IT for a business and there's lots and lots of devices across the whole company and you need to manage that somehow, you might have something like this uh, in your computer system to try and map out where things are. Let, let's say uh, you might be able to find out where the broken connections are by looking at which devices have been affected. 
So if you find that something has affected this device and this device, um, then you might suspect something in between or, two, or something like that. You can look at this connection, you can look at this connection, and you can look at this connection. So these are sort of ways that we use geometry. And I hope that you uh, sort of follow with me uh, as we go through some of the, I guess, perhaps the more uh, abstracted types of things like lines, points, angles, parallel lines, and so forth. But they do have applications out there in the world. And it, does, it is also useful to train yourself to try and solve problems in an abstract way, because that's a very useful skill to work with. All right. I'll lead you into our first video, which is about points, lines, and angles. Basically, quite a bu bunch of maths terminology. See you then. Bye.